Hello, loves of my life. Tutorial time, yay! Today I'm doing a highly requested look. This is the look I had in my March favorites, as well as my update video, as well as my giveaway video. It's a super sexy, sultry eye makeup look, and it's actually really easy to achieve. I've been wearing this a lot lately, so if you'd like to see how to get this look, then please keep on watching. The first thing I'm going to do is prime my eye with the Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base, and this is an awesome eyeshadow primer. I absolutely love it. Today I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals Multitasking Eye in Well Rested and I'm going to apply that to my brow bone and then I'm going to pack it onto the bottom half of my eyelid. And this isn't an eyeshadow, usually this is used underneath the eye to brighten up the area. It's more so like a mineral concealer but I absolutely love using it as an eyeshadow because it's so opaque and it's so matte and it works really well for this look. So once I'm done packing that on, I'm going to take this Smashbox eyeshadow in Nude and I'm going to apply it just above my crease. And as you can see, I'm focusing on the inner part of my eyelid, right below my brow bone, next to my nose. And the key to this look is to keep the bottom half of the eyelid really clean and opaque, and really deepen just above the crease, working your way up towards the brow and next to the nose. So once I feel like I've deepened the crease enough, I'm going to take a little bit more well rested and I'm going to go over the bottom half of my eyelid again, pack it on a little bit thicker, touch up my eyebrow a little bit, Then I'm going to go back in with Nude and I'm going to slowly blend Nude upwards towards my brow bone. Taking a flat brush and Nude, I'm just going to go back into the crease and sharpen it a little bit. So I'm just creating a line across my crease and blending back and forth. Taking a flat brush and Max Fix Plus, I'm going to spray my brush and I'm going to dip it into the Essence Sparkling Effect Eyeshadow in Dance All Night. And now I'm just going to pat this color across my lid. I'm patting very gently so I don't disrupt the color underneath. This will just kind of give the base color a really subtle shimmer. I did my usual winged eyeliner and I skipped past it because you've seen it so many times. I did make my inner eyeliner a little bit thicker than usual and I used Maybelline's Eye Studio Gel Liner in Blackest Black. So taking the excess eyeliner that's left on my brush, I'm just going to run it along my bottom lash line. This is going to smoke out my lash line a little bit and then I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm going to add it to my waterline. Once I've done that, I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to dip it in Nude and then I'm going to run it along my bottom lash line right over top of that eyeliner I just applied. I'm going to apply some L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black to my lashes. Then I'm going to deepen that lash line a little bit with NYC's Liquid Eyeliner in Black. For falsies today, I'm using Red Cherry 43s, and I'm going to quickly pop those on. And for blush, I'm using Wet n Wild's Heather Silk. This is a very pretty mauve pink shade, and I'm going to apply that to my cheekbones and the apples of my cheeks. And what I like to do is diffuse the color with my already used foundation brush. Using a flat brush and the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, I'm going to apply a little bit to my tear ducts. And then over top of that, I'm going to take the same Essence Sparkling Effect Eyeshadow in Dance All Night, and I'm going to pack that on top of Milk. I'm going to contour as usual using my Essence Sun Club Bronzer for Blondes. I skipped past this part too because it's redundant. By the way, for foundation I use CoverGirl's Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation and I absolutely love it. And for the lips I'm using my current favorite. It is Wet n Wild Matte Lipstick in Think Pink and it's a really pretty nude pink shade. So I'm going to finish up the look by applying that all over my lips. So that's the completed look. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it easy to follow. Honestly, it's super simple. Just make sure to blend out that top crease color really well. I've been wearing this almost every day for the last two weeks. All the products used will be listed in the description box as well as on my website. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!